Libra. How you doing, Libra? Hope you're doing well. Hope this reading finds you well. Magician. Card number one. The master manifester of the tarot. But let's see what comes next. Because if something like the devil or the tower comes next, that's um well, that, it wouldn't be great. Oh no, you got the star next. So forget what I just said. Let's get all the cards out. I mean, that's glow up energy right there. Wow. Yes, glow up energy. One of the glow up cards. The Hierophant. Traditions. Then you've got the strength card. Leo energy there. Um, and then the Ten of Cups. Fortune after difficulty. Ultimate happiness. Look at those two kids playing. It's got a family energy about it. Okay, King of Swords, wow. Okay, Libra, Gemini had the King of Swords right in that position, so maybe you want to go and check that reading, there might be something in it for you. That happens a lot in my readings. The same cards turn up in the same positions for different signs. Nine of Pentacles, underneath the star. Luxurious independence and money, and then Temperance next, underneath the Six of Wands. Wow, some pretty powerful energy going on here. Two of Swords. So, a bit of stuck, caught in the fork in the road energy coming out there. Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. And we do end with the tower. Underneath the Ten of Cups. So there's no, I mean, really, really good reading. There's no sugarcoating the Eight of Cups. I think, wow. Sorry, it just inspirationally came to me. If you walk away, if you walk away from all this good energy, you're going to bring in a tower moment. That's what's going to happen. So this is what tarot is for. So there is something so good here. It could be to do with your family. It could be to do with the marriage. Even though, I mean, the Hierophant is here, so that might suggest that. It could be to do with a job. It's something that you're deeply connected to. I, I think these two energies showing up at the end are saying, don't walk away. Don't walk away. It will bring in a tower moment. Because it's, it's, it's something in the public eye, I think. Because to get the star and then the six of wands next, that does have like a kind of fame and fortune energy to it. Because... If that is a three, underneath in the middle is the Nine of Pentacles. And that, the Temperance card, is underneath the Six of Wands. Alchemy. So, if there's someone watching this, if there's a Libra watching, who is, this could be just a message from one person, who is married to a Leo, or a Sagittarius, 
this message is for them. This message is for you. Because there is something, maybe you've been, maybe you've had someone else flirting with you and you've been thinking about the grass is greener. Um, and And it never is. You think, I think that's the sort of energy I'm picking up on just on those last three cards. And this is how good things actually are. If you stay in your current energy, this is how good things are and also how good they can be. But definitely be wary. Because you're in the fork in the road and you're trying to make a decision with this two of swords. And if you walk away, I'm sorry, I've said it like three times because I think it's really important. That is coming in at the end, and that is the message that I am channeling from Spirit. So that's the message I'm giving. Because there's so much good stuff here. There's so much success. Magician to the star, to the Six of Wands, with, with the Ten of Cups at the end of that row. Wow. I, I mentioned the M word, didn't I? I mentioned marriage, and you got the Four of Wands there. Freedom, completion. So I think it is, oh, okay, but, but something about that, Nine of Swords. So something about that situation has got you in your head and got you anxious, and it looks like you're not as happy as you thought you would be. Okay, Libra. Let's just pull you a Okay, okay. Wow, the Ten of Cups has come out again. So there is real, true happiness in your marriage, and your connection, in, you know, a job that you could be married to. Queen of Swords on the King of Swords. Divine Counterparts. Wow, you've got the Eight of Cups again. Eight of Cups again. And the Judgment card. Judgment and the tower is one of the strongest energies in the tower. That's a gigantic wake-up call. That's like a revelation. Wow, you've got the magician again. Okay, I'm going to pull you one more card. Wow, the wheel of fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Karma, turning in your direction. And let's take one more. Five of Pentacles. Well, you don't want it to turn in your direction and lead to some sort of downturn. That's to be avoided. I'm still picking up on that. If you walk away from something that is so great. See, with the Five of Pentacles and this next card, Knight of Swords, as in going away rapidly, making a hasty decision, being too hasty, it's with the Five of Pentacles. So I really think that you shouldn't make any hasty decisions about leaving a work position, a project, a marriage, a relationship. I'm going to pull you one Prism Oracle. That's the one that wants to come out. Rest. Yeah, rest. A kind of stay where you are energy. Okay, thanks, Libra. Thanks for being here. Take care. Bye. Forever, though. <laughs> Right now.